still more to come. But I'm really grateful to God that God has kept us alive. Enough is enough. This is what these artists seem to be saying. And although their lips are symbolically taped shut, the words written on their placards say it all. These were just some of the sights and sounds at the National Theatre Igamo as a variety of entertainers turned out to protest the effect of piracy and other one issues plaguing the showbiz industry. The mass rally marked the commencement of an indefinite strike meant to draw attention to their plight. The for the practice of the arts in Nigeria is uh, despicable, absolutely unsustainable. And we are saying to the government of President Yaradua, you had the gods to take out the banks. Please have the gods to take out the pirates in our, in our nation so that all the young creative people do not work in vain. And we have said that we will stay hungry, we will remain on hunger strike, we will not eat, we will not drink until President Yara Adua answers us. This is a big problem, it's like cancer. Cancer will get into your system and it will be getting stronger and stronger and stronger. If you don't detect it on time, then if you don't provide a solution to when you've dis discovered, then it can kill. That's the same thing with piracy. We are not looking forward to eradicating piracy. We are looking forward to alleviating it so that our common wealth can be protected. There's great need for us all to unite forces, actor, musician, whatever part of the art you are, to begin to see each other as partners in progress that must engender uh, our common wealth. People who have nothing at all come in and rip where they didn't sow. And we're seeing it shouldn't continue, it can't continue, it's killing us, we're dying. We need to speak up before we're buried completely. We should have been having this kind of a thing in the past, at all times, intervally. It's not just, it's not supposed to be a one-time thing. You say, when you come out and let the world know what is happening to you, they listen. Aha, this is exactly what we're doing here. So we just want to tell the world, this is our position, this is our problem, and they will listen. For the next couple of days, this tent will become home to some artists who will go without food as a sign of solidarity for the struggle. But will the concerned authorities listen and respond to the yearnings of the Nigerian artist? Only time will tell.